What up, fam? It's your boy G Ridge. What's up, fam? So yes, I'm. I got a job update for you. You know, um, I I wanted to keep this last this last month up on the close to my you know close to my chest, close to home, and not give out my information about the job and stuff until I know officially that I have one. So I'm coming to let you know. So anyway, I got a call from last week, last week and a half. I got a call back from my old job at the hotel. Okay, yeah. So this is what was going on, why it took them so long to contact me back. Boy, I tell you, but God is good. My The boss that was over me, the manager of the entire banquet department at the hotel, he was he was the one blocking me. Yeah, fam, he was blocking me. He was blocking me <laughs> from getting my job back because... You know, I, he said I was too intimidating. But I swear for God, but I tell you. I was too intimidating. Not that I couldn't do the job. It's just because when he used to come in in the work in the morning, fam. He used to come in to work in the, in the morning. And I have half the stuff done. Some bosses don't like that you might have more experience than them or, or knowledge about the particular job that you're doing. They get They feel intimidated. So he didn't want me back. They've been saying they've been wanting to call me, but if you know, if you're a manager, the manager said, oh, nah, I don't want that guy back or something like that. He was the one block. Ain't that something? And I was like, well, what, I mean, I didn't quit. Y'all called me, you know, during the pandemic last year, early March, saying that, uh, you know, due to the pandemic, we shutting down, blah, 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 all this, all this and that. And slowly they've been hiring people back, but, um, you know, only the managers was working. So, anyway, fam, this dude was blocking me the whole time. Didn't know it until, you know, someone contacted me and gave me the reason. So he's he he don't, he look, turned this two weeks notice in. He's leaving, and he took a vacation while he was with, within his two weeks on his two weeks notice. So he's basically gone. You know how you do. You put in your two weeks notice. And you got vacation. You go ahead and take it then. And then you don't have to come back and see people's faces and stuff. But he was the one blocking. Well, I tell you, boy, the devil's busy, fam. <laughs> well, I tell you, but God is good, fam. Oh, man. Anyway, man, they contacted me. So I will be working by myself, running that division of the of, of banquets. And and the the person that called me, they will be one in the service part of it, you know, serving the guests and I'll be doing the handling the setup part. So I get to go in. God is good. Monday morning, I start Monday morning. I, I'm coming on now and let you know I do have the job. I got the job back. A raise, and I make my own schedule. So, you know, basically I'm on, I'm still my own boss. And I'm still be doing the YouTube video, fam. I'm not leaving, fam. I'm not, I'm not leaving. I mean, uh, you know, it's been too good to me. Y'all been too good to me. And, um. So we're going to bring both of them together and we're going to make this thing work, fam. Yes, you know, God is good, I tell you. But anyway, fam, you know, it, it's, it's the fact that how people let the devil use them and, the, you know, black something because I I intimidate you because I my knowledge of the job. You should be happy to have someone with knowledge of the job. You know, you don't have to tell me or stand behind me and make sure it get done. He knew that. But it's the fact that the, the 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 stuff that people go through, fam. Oh, MG, boy, I tell you. The deny somebody else their blessing that's meant for them. Well, I tell you, God will fix it every time. So what God did will move him completely out my way, bring me back to where I'm comfortable, and make my own schedule. And no, I won't be working weekends. No, you no sir. I told him I gave a see. You have not because you ask not. So I asked him, I say, the, 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 my terms, I was willing to, the, the, to be turned down from the job, fam. So you have to ask, try, you know, I went out on faith. I prayed about it. I went out, I said, hey, I work my hours. I work early in the morning so I can have the rest of the day off with my family. Take care of I do Y'all know I do YouTube. I still cook. And I told them on weekends, off. I'm not going to lie. I have, uh, um, you know, Sunday, I like to be. In front of your know, virtual uh, 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 for, for church, I like to be in virtual for church until you know the pandemic over with, and 
And I told him, I said, I ain't going to lie to you. You know I love football. On Saturday and Sunday, I like my football. I said, now we have weddings sometimes. So what I do is I go in early that Saturday morning and set the wedding. So I set the wedding that morning. Then I'm gone. I told him I'm not going to be there to break it down, get somebody, you know, do that. And they say yes. God say yes, so they have to say yes. That's right. So, you know, I want to come share that with y'all for the ones who care about it or, you know, care about it and, and who was praying for me and my family. And, um, man, I tell you, he is good. He is awesome. And, and, and he'll do it for you. Same thing he did for me. He Same thing he did for other people on, on YouTube, other people that you know. You say, well, no, why is God? He'll do it. He'll do it to you. You have to pray about it in detail and leave it alone and let him move. But, man, I tell you. It 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 it, 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 it kind of hurt me because you know like I worked with this dude, and this dude was blocking me the whole time, and that's how I be. Boy, I tell you, but when God for you, can no man, and I'm gonna throw this in, and no woman can be against you. Yep, it, it, because you know how, how I intimidate you when I'm coming in with knowledge. How is that even possible? I'm coming in, and you, and, and, and in this day and age, it is possible. And I was all I did was go in, good morning, say good morning, talk with, you know, people, get my cup of coffee, boom, I'm on it. I'm reading the, the contracts, and I'm doing. I don't have to go, hey, bud. So how you want to know? I know what to do. That's all I did. And when he came in, like an hour or two later, half the place is ready and set and ready to go. So he really can't tell me anything. I mean, well, okay, get up earlier than me. You the boss, you get here a little earlier. But, I mean, if making your job easy, that's one division you don't have to worry about. Then you go ahead and he, he, can, he, managed over the, he managed over the breakfast, the restaurant, it's, and the kitchen. So there's a lot of other stuff you could have done instead of worry about me. You understand what I'm saying? Because you worry about my intimidation factor because you can't control me. No, I'm not here for you to control. I'm I'm here for you to use me, pertaining to my you know for, for for the duties pertaining to my job, to make your life easier and mine, and we both they pay us to do that. So that's what I was doing. So to come to find out, that's what was going on, <laughs> and it's it's crazy. But anyway, I come to let y'all know. That's what was going on. As far as the Amazon job thing, yes, I had I had the Amazon job. Um, the first one, I told you what happened with that one. And I got the other Amazon job. The second one, well, I went through, people know that they, they you know, got me to the door and said, well, you changed the schedule and so you got to wait till December. That's what I, you know, I didn't tell y'all that, but that's what I kept it close to my vest because I was mad, pissed off, and hurt. So, the third time I got it back, they removed the holes off the off the uh, the Amazon job, but lo and behold came the hotel job. So why would I go venture into the unknown if I if then if I wanted to then yeah, but I go venture into the unknown, working overnight, one thirty in the morning, eleven thirty in the morning, when that, and, you know leaving my family home at night, which we were prepared to do because I did took the offer, but. Then the hotel came up, and I say, "Well, no." So I withdraw my application on that, and that's when I went, you know, accepted the hotel. So I start officially start working. All the other stuff is done. So I officially start working. I'm on the schedule. I got me the schedule. I, I got I got I got the schedule for uh, Monday to go in, and then I make my own schedule while I'm there Monday. So it's on and popping. I will take y'all with me Monday morning, you know, for those who are up. You know, I'm going to take y'all ride with me back to the hotel because it's going to be like, dog, I hadn't been there going on almost two years. You know, so it's like a year and a half. So, you know, it is what it is, fam. But I came on here to share that with y'all and uh, for those who care. And, um, man, man, it's just to, to give God his, pra his praise, man. You know, it's just like, wow, you know. I've been wanting things to work out for me and my family about, you know, the way it's been going, but God's been sustaining us the entire time. So now I can have extra money 
to pursue the home and the other and my other car that I want. Yes, sir. Yeah, I got the, you know, the home and other car. But since he's doing taking care of everything else, you know, the the the, the, the rent and you know, all the other bills, you know, that's what he boy he provided. And then with that, so you know, I can probably move forward in the in the things that I want to do. And eventually, y'all know what I want. Last but not least, I want I still want my food truck, so I could eventually officially walk away from the hotel and have my own business while still you know in connection with YouTube. So it's you know you know he's moving, and just like he's moving in my life, he'll move in yours. You got to trust and believe. You know I'm saying he will do it. Pray about it in detail of what you want, and leave it alone. And if he don't open the door for you, it's not meant for you. Okay? Move on to the next. Love y'all to life. G-Rich out. In your mind.